Hello everyone, this is Kathy, and today we're going to be running down a magnet spike in Monster Hunter Frontier. The magnet spike is a unique weapon that has two different forms, cutting and impact. It's also the only weapon to have one style, the extreme style. First, let's go over the mechanics. In the top left, there are three icons. A cutting icon, an impact icon, and the meter. The meter represents how many magnet evades you can use. Magnet evades will be covered later. The cutting icon and the impact icon are charged up by dealing damage in either form. When charged, you can use magnetism, which will temporarily boost your damage and modify some attacks. Alright, let's go over magnet evades. Both forms have different magnet evades, and both forms have four directional ones, with the left and right showing the same. Magnet evades have more iframes than average evades. Here's what the back and cutting looks like. Here's what the forward and cutting looks like. Forward and back both deal damage. Here's what the left and right look like. Left and right can be followed up with an attack. On to the impact evades. Impact back looks like this, and has a follow-up attack. Impact back's attack is amplified if you dodge an attack. Impact left looks like this. Impact right looks like this. Impact left and right also have follow-up attacks. They are also empowered by a dodging an attack. Impact forward looks like this. Another unique defensive tool that Magnus Spike has is the parry. At the beginning of the parry, you are invulnerable. If an attack connects with you, the counterattack will deal massive damage. It is one of the best defensive tools in the game, and another reason why Magnus Spike is overpowered and braindead. Here's what horizontal attacks Horizontal does not have a way to skip to the second attack. However, horizontal is the only way that you can attack and switch to impact. Impact is quite unique in that its att attacks flow together quite freely. This is what you get when you press the attack button normally. This can be looped infinitely. Alternatively, you can follow up the second hit with a slam. The slam boasts incredibly high damage and KO values. The slam can also be done from neutral. During your standard loop, you can switch to forward attacks. Forward attacks can also be done from neutral by holding forward and inputting the attack button. You can also perform these stabs, I guess, from neutral by pressing the attack button while standing. The charge attack of the thrusts, or stabs, can be followed up with the slam. Next we're going to cover what I call Magnet Stance. Magnet Stance can be done in both forms, and is what makes Magnet Spike quite unique. To enter Magnet Stance, double tap your, your Magnet Stance button, which for me is Shift. This will enter the Magnet Stance and give you a targeting reticle, and change your camera to free movement. You can move while doing this. You can shoot a Magnet Marker by pressing the Shoot Magnet Marker button, for me it's V. You put this on monsters to be able to attract and repel to them. Inside of Magnet Stance, you can do Magnetic Attraction or Magnetic Repulse. Magnetic Attraction can be done when you're far away from the monster. You'll leap into the air over the monster, which tracks, and pre by pressing the attack button, you can slam down on it. This deals incredible damage. To Magnetic Repulse, simply be close to the monster and input the Repulse button. Now let's cover miscellaneous mechanics. 
One attack I forgot to mention, Magnetic Assault. Magnetic Assault can be done by both cutting and impact. Magnetic Assault is a great mobility tool and deals decent damage. It also has iframes like Magnetic Evades. Magnetic Spike is home to a unique mechanic known as the pin. The pin is a status effect which can be dealt up by dealing damage to the monster. When it's ready to be pinned, it'll have a magnetic aura. To pin it, simply do magnetic forward evade and then magnetic assault and you will enter a leap and you will leap up into the air and down onto the monster. If you connect, you will pin the monster and enter a quick time event where you need to mash certain buttons until the bar fills. When the bar fills, you'll be prompted to and deal an incredible amount of damage. During pin, the monster is completely vulnerable, making it an incredibly overpowered tool in multiplayer. However, some monsters are immune to the pin, such as Musus and monsters that use magnetism, like Ruga Diora and the Galgars. That about does it for the Magnet Spike. Please drop a comment below and tell me if you want to see this for other weapons, and I might do it for dual swords in the future. This video took a lot of time to make, and I apologize for any audio issues, as this mic is new and cheap. Thank you all for watching.